study is being done, where there are where people have preached on five crowns that we receive, but actually there are seven crowns. My key scripture here is 2 Corinthians 5, verses 10. For we must all be made manifest before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether it be good or bad. Paul speaks about us running the race. Do you know, he compared it in those days to when they ran their race in the amphitheater and, and they would win a laurel. That would be a, a crown of leaves wrapped around their head. Well, that thing would soon die. Within two, three days, that thing was dead. The runner strived for this wreath. The wreath, the crown which dies. This wreath, wreath was just proof of a victory. That's all it was. So what actually they were running for was for the victory. They weren't running for the wreath. But my friends, you and I are not just running for the victory. We are running for an incorruptible crown, a lasting crown that lasts forever, being the very proof of our victory in Christian living. There are seven crowns, and I want to share them with you. Two of these crowns you've already received as a believer, and you wear them every day. The other five crowns you will receive when you stand before Christ. And I want to go through what these crowns are. The first crown is called the crown of consecration, holiness to the Lord. It's the crown of separation. Numbers chapter 6 verse 8 says, All the days of his separation he is holy unto the Lord. Now the Hebrew word here is Nisa. It's consecration. It's a crown of separation. It's a Nazarite consecration. It's a promise unto the Lord we are a holy people, a holy nation, priests and kings. And that's found in 1 Peter 2 verse 9. The second crown is the crown of protection. And that is found in Psalms 5 verse 12. It says, For it is you who blesses the righteous man, O Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. The Hebrew word here is atavah to encircle as for an attack. And it's a protection crown. That's so cool. The third crown is the crown of incorruptibility. It's the crown of victory. 1 Corinthians 9.25. This crown is given to every believer. The day you become a, a Christian, your life is changed and a crown gets put on your head. The crown is given as an everlasting sign and will never tarnish it will eternally sparkle, and it's shining and reflecting the glory of our King. The fourth crown. In 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 19 and 20, it speaks of the crown of rejoicing. My, my brothers and sisters, listen. Christ is your hope and your joy. Not winning the lottery, not being victorious in a circumstance. It's Christ that is your joy. And he blesses us and he crowns us with joy. Crown number five is the crown of righteousness, 1 Timothy 5, 4, 8. The crown of righteousness is given to all who are saved. This is the second crown. This is amazing. 1 Timothy 4, 8. This crown, my brothers and sisters, is not a crown that you earn. You, it's a crown you receive because he has made you righteous. The sixth crown is the crown of life. James 1, verse 12 says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, because having been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to him. This crown, I don't think all of us are going to receive this crown, because many of us have failed in temptation. I believe this crown is, is, really, is really for those who have been persecuted for their faith. And all types of persecution, it doesn't simply mean us behind the iron curtain. It might be a relationship where there's been absolute persecution and suffering and you've chosen to, to wear this crown in humility before the Lord. Revelations 2 verse 10 speaks of this crown being the crown of endurance. And the greatest crown is crown number 7. It's the crown of glory. 1 Peter 5 verse 2. And this crown is what the one that we see on the elders' heads, where they come and they fall down before the throne of God and they take their crowns off. 
Revelations 4.10 says, Casting their crowns before the throne, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. My brothers, I want to pray with you right now. My sisters, I want to pray with you right now. Don't let your crown slip on your head. Don't let your crown get dusty. Wear it regally. Lift up your head. Your redemption draws nigh. The Lord has given you these seven crowns and they're for you to attain, to walk in victory. Let's pray. Father God, will you come in Jesus' name and bring release right now that we will not lay our crown down for an, for an image, a brazen image for a, for an, at another altar, but we will come and lay our crown down before you, Lord God. Father, for no other reason but to you we lay our crowns down saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. Father, I pray for the person hearing this podcast, watching this YouTube. Lord God, I pray that your hand would be upon them and that you would bless them, that they would seek your face and that they would wear their crown with royalty like a child of the Most High God. In Jesus' name, amen.